Most of you probably know about Plasma or Plasma Shell, which is KDE's like flagship desktop shell. However, most of you probably don't know about Liquid or Liquid Shell, which is another desktop shell that KDE has. And this is actually a KDE project. I've actually shown on this channel before like TDE or even Maui Shell. Those were other desktops that were close to KDE but are not actually part of KDE. This is fully part of KDE. You can also see from their GitHub page, which is inside of KDE. So we are sure about that. And uh, the cool thing is that this is a shell. And what that, mean, what that means is that, as an example, it's not a desktop environment. Uh, it doesn't come with a window uh, manager. The window manager is KWIN, just like Plasma Shell. And it's actually the very same one. So all of the things that work on the newer KD Plasma uh, KWIN part of things work here as well. So we've got the new overview as an example. It's just like you would accept and everything else just works out of the box. What actually changes is the desktop shell, which is like the background and the panel. You can see that the panel is completely different. And also there's this feature that allows you to have different wallpapers depending on the virtual desktop. But I'm getting my head on myself. So why would you want to use Liquid Shell anyway? What's the difference between Plasma Shell and Liquid Shell? Now, in order to know the difference between those two, you need to know the difference between QML and Qt widgets. So historically speaking, KDE has always used Qt widgets because QML didn't exist yet. QML came um, later. It was made by Qt. And it is a markup language uh, similar to HTML and CSS uh, to some extent uh, that relies on JavaScript as well. And it is meant to make building UIs much easier. And it is much easier to use QML compared to Qt widgets, in my opinion, if you don't know like C++ very well. So KD Plasma was actually rewritten re re completely in QML. And everything nowadays, even the UI of the newer KD application, applications is written in QML. Discover, as an example, is in QML. And this shell says, no, you know what? Qt widgets were actually fine and it just skips them. So what you're seeing here in the panel is actually drawn using Qt widgets. Uh, if you use Quantum, if you don't skip this part, if you use Quantum, you might be wondering why some KD apps don't follow um, the Quantum style. And that's because Quantum is meant to theme Qt widgets. This is Qt widgets. KD Plasma and newer KD apps are not, are, they are QML, and they don't quite follow exactly the Q style, which is again meant for Qt widgets. So that's why Quantum doesn't quite work one to one. So what do we have here? Let, let's actually give it a look. So we've got a menu which is rather simple. We've got all the apps by category. We've got a couple of shortcuts to open up Dolphin in the home directory or the web browser in the KDE directory, um, KDE website, sorry. We've got a button to show all the files in your home folder and jump directly to them, which is rather useful. We've got all of the desktops and an app button to see all of the apps in all of the desktops. This basically replaces the task manager. You can also see the icons here. Then there is this empty space. We've got logout buttons. We've got the CPU and then we've got the system tray. And as you can see, everything here is different and it seems to be using the style of apps. It doesn't look like KD Plasma at all. KD Plasma is like transparent. This isn't. KD apps aren't transparent. And um, in here, you just like manage the Wi-Fi connection. I just disconnected from Wi-Fi. I didn't mean to. Please activate again. Thank you. We've got Bluetooth here, which is thank you, which is actually a window for some reason. <laughs> We've got a reminders and a calendar. And this calendar actually looks just like the one in uh, K Organizer. So it, Again, key organizer is Qt widget, so that makes sense to some extent. We've also got different background options in here. As an example, the configure wallpaper uh, dialog is completely different and 
exposes different options. There is much, many less features compared to KD Plasma. As an example, you can just use wallpapers like this. So, but I mean, you can set them depending on the virtual desktop. We can also add applets and we've got three to choose from. So choose carefully. I'm gonna go with weather. And uh, in order to actually customize the size and position, it's not quite easy to do that, but it works. In KD Plasma, it's implemented slightly better, but of course it's KML, so it, I think it's slightly easier to actually implement it. It, it is well, well done though. That's something that has to be recognized, yeah. Now, you might be wondering, okay, so it is QD widgets. What if I actually want to theme this? So using a custom QD widgets um, style. So to do that, we open up system settings and we go into appearance application style. These are the Q styles. So if we switch to MS Windows 9 as an example, you can see that Liquid actually immediately switches to that style as well. If we go to Oxygen, then we've got Oxygen. If we go to Breeze, we've got Breeze. So it actually follows the Q style. And that's pretty cool. Again, if you use Quantum, I haven't tested this, but it should work perfectly out of the box. If you do use Quantum, please try this out and let me know. It's actually super easy to start this up just to try it. I was using KD Plasma until five minutes ago when I started recording and to switch to Liquid, I just went to the terminal and uh, typed kill all plasma liquid shell. And that was it. It just works out of the box. How nice is that? If you don't like this kind of theming though, Liquid has got you covered because you do also have the option of styling through a CSS by using a uh, stylesheet.css file. You do have some examples out of the box in this file, which is included in the repository and it helps you understand how to actually use this, which is useful. <laughs> that said, of course, it doesn't quite support anything like moving the widgets within the panel. This is the panel and it cannot be edited in any way. So that's some limitation. If you want really a lot of customization, this is not for you. And it lacks most of the cool feature that KD Plasma got us used to because KD Plasma has everything. But if for, if for any reason you want a QT widgets based shell or I don't know if KD Plasma is broken and you need something quickly to pop up, then this actually works. I'm actually really impressed by how I was able to just use it out of the box. And that was everything, uh, though it's not really everything because there's still this animation because I'm doing this in my free time, this and all of my videos and my contributions to KDE. So in order to do this in my free time, I do need to eat or stuff like that. So if you want to uh, donate something that's helpful and if I'm doing these videos, it's really thanks to the people who the names who you just saw. So if you want to help me, you've, uh, you've got links. See you tomorrow though.